What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna switch things up and I'm gonna teach you how to not only create, but to read an amortization schedule. So I know this channel is mainly about the stock market and investing, but something that's just as important as investing is paying off your debt. Sometimes, depending on what kind of debt you have, it's more important to pay off all of that debt before you even put a single dollar into the stock market. But let's stop wasting time. We're gonna hop on the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly how to understand an amortization schedule. All right, so here we are on the computer and all you need to type into Google is amortization schedule Google Sheets template. Hit enter and this one right here is all you need. You click on that link and then this will open up. What you do is you go over to use template Click on that and it'll open up in your Google Drive in Google Sheets. If you don't have Google Sheets, you could make a Gmail account and then you have Google Sheets for free. There's also an amortization schedule on Excel. The only reason why I'm not showing you that one is because you may not have Excel and that costs money. So I get some people might not have that. So this right here is just a picture. You can just click on it and click backspace and delete. And here is our amortization schedule. Now what's great is you don't actually have to create anything. Uh, we can just download this. And then on top of that, it's just understanding how it works and what you're looking at. So let's go up to loan amount and let's type in say $300,000. Let's pretend you wanna buy a house for 300 grand and you're wondering how much are you paying? For your term of the uh, loan, we'll say it's 30 years. And then for your annual interest rate, let's say 3%. We hit enter. We don't need to change anything else because it's going to compound uh, over 12 periods. That's going to be 12 months during a, uh, throughout a year. And if we go down to summary, all of this is already plugged in for you. You can see what your monthly payment's gonna be, which is uh, almost $1,300. The number of payments, the rate that you're paying per month, and then here's the important stuff, your total payment and your total interest. So if you get a house for $300,000 with an interest rate for only 3%, that sounds pretty good. It sounds like you got a good deal. It sounds like you're not gonna be paying that much in interest but because it's over 30 years and the way compound interest works, even with debt, you could see right on the computer screen, you're almost paying, you're paying $150,000 in interest alone. That $300,000 house just turned into $450,000. And if you scroll down, this is the important part, the amortization schedule. That's why you clicked on this video. So what's nice is you could see this is all laid out in years. So year one to year 30. And then over here, you'll see the cumulative interest and the cumulative principal. This is what I think is really important for people to understand. And you could see right here, your first year of paying your house, you're actually paying more towards interest than you are principal. You could see right here after a year, you've paid a total of $6,263 towards principal, and you paid almost $9,000 in interest alone. But here's how loans work. You could see, we'll go over here, the yearly interest and yearly payments, right? Because over here, the cumulative adds up over time. So you could see you're paying 8,000 and then add year one and year two together. It's 17, 26, you get the picture there. This isn't cumulative. This is just the yearly amount that's going towards uh, the payments. So you can see right here, your first year, you are paying $15,000. That's if you were to take this monthly payment and multiply it by 12. You're paying a total of 15 grand your first year. Six grand is going towards principal and almost nine grand is going towards interest. But then look at year two. As you pay it off, a little bit more is going towards principal and a little bit less is going towards interest. And you can see as we continue to go down, right here is the turning point. After eight years, now more money is going towards principal and less money is going towards interest. 
and that's just because you've already paid off a decent amount. What's also nice is this will show you a nice chart and you could really see where that tipping point is, where you start paying more towards the principal and less towards the interest. And you're probably wondering why is this all important? Well, depending on what you're buying, and we'll use a house because that's an easy example, maybe you have a starter house and you think, all right, let me buy it for let's say $300,000. You wanna live in there maybe a couple of years, pay it down and then move somewhere else and you figure you'll have a nice nest egg. You could sell that house and make money on top of it, but that's where the interest really comes into play. You can see for almost the first decade, the first 10 years, you're paying a lot towards that interest and very little towards that principal. So if we look back on the chart, let's say you're, you wanna move out after five years, you could see the cumulative interest, I mean the cumulative principal is only $33,000. So after owning this house for five years, paying $75,000, only $33,000 is in equity. The rest is still owned by the bank. Now obviously, what's nice about this, is you could play around with numbers. Maybe you're a small business and you take out a business loan. Maybe it's higher percentage, let's say 7%. And obviously the numbers will all change. You would have that say over two years. You can see the numbers will change how much you're paying the first year and then how much you're paying the second year and what all of your payments will be. The only downfall of this, uh, this Google Sheet is it doesn't show it by month. So if you are getting a shorter term loan, say a business loan, then I would recommend you using the Excel amortization schedule. And I just wanna show you really quick, this is the Excel loan amortization schedule for those of you who do have Excel on your computer. Um, it shows by month, so here's the 24 month period, and it, does, it doesn't have that nice graph that Google Sheets does, but what is nice is it also has optional extra payments. So you could see what your loan would be here, let's pretend it's that two year $50,000 loan, you could see that you will be paying $2,200 a month and you could see how much is going towards your principal and how much is going towards your interest. And if you were to add, say, an extra $100 to pay off and how much quicker, that would save a month. So that's not too exciting, but if we go back to our house example, $300,000 at 3% interest over 30 years, then what's nice about this is again, by month, you can see exactly how much is going towards principal and how much is going towards interest and how those first couple of years, most of your money's going towards interest, unfortunately. But that's with the extra payment. This will show you what happens if you add that extra payment, that $100 more a month. If you can afford that 100 a month, you could scroll down and you can see how much money you're saving and how much sooner you're paying off that loan. 331 months instead of 360 months. And here's the crazy part. So that $100 a month, if we get rid of that, you look over here, total interest is $155,000. You add that $100, it drops down to $100 and $35,000. So you can just see how much you're actually saving. You put in that extra $100, you're saving yourself essentially $20,000 over the lifetime of the loan. But I think you have a pretty good understanding of amortization schedules now. Again, very important to pay down your debt, especially if you have high credit card debt or maybe you fell for the Sally Mae loan and you have that student loan debt, which is also high pay those down as quickly as possible. Mess around with the amortization schedules. If you have Excel, it's already a template. If you don't, no worries. You could go online like I showed you and download one for free and you can manage your debt, pay it off, and then you could start watching my investing videos and jump into the stock market so you could retire wealthy. That's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.